Hello everyone. So in this video, I'm going to showcase how you can create child flows in Power Automate. So sometimes what happens that there is a requirement uh, of creating the child flows because your parent flow or your main flow is becoming very big uh, in length or maybe there are so much of complex scenarios or complex situations which you are handling or maybe the business requirements which you are handling in the parent flow. So it's always good to create the child flows. And in this video, my intent is to showcase that how you can create child flows in Power Automate. All right, so to start with, you can always create child flows in Power Automate. So some of you might be having this confusion that the child flows cannot be created or this is a premium feature in Power Automate. So that is not the case at all. You can definitely create child flows in Power Automate, but only condition is that they needs to be created in a solution. So precisely your parent flow or the number of child flows which you are going to create, those needs to be created inside a solution. That is the only condition. I will also walk you through in this video uh, to the official documentation of Microsoft, which talks about how to create child flows in Power Automate. We will look into it in next few minutes. But before that, please remember, this is very important because if you will not create your flows in a solution, then the, uh, the action, basically the action run a child flow will not be available to you. And you will not be able to create the child flows or maybe single flow in your master or parent flow. So here parent flow, the definition of the parent flow is that it can have any type of trigger and it will call the child flow. That's why we are calling it as a parent flow. And the child flow is that which is nested inside the parent flow. It contains the small task. As I mentioned in the beginning of the video, the child flows are basically created so that you can minimize the complexity of one single flow. And you can break down your existing uh, logic or maybe the business requirement into multiple flows. That's why we create child flows. Definitely, you can have multiple child flows inside a parent flow. So there is no condition as such that you can create only one or two child flows. So in this diagram, as you can see, there is a parent flow which I have created. And here, uh, let's say I'm calling one child flow only run a child flow using uh, using the action run a child flow. So this is the parent flow which I am going to showcase you today in this video and this is the child flow which I have created in the child flow. Now if, let's talk about the child flow, the confusion where it starts uh, with respect to the child flows. Someone think that child flow cannot be created because it's a premium feature. No, it's not. It's not correct. It's not a premium feature. Please remember because uh, in the child flow, there are two actions which you can call either respond to a power app or flow which I will be showcasing you today in this video. It's a standard feature. It's not a premium feature or you can use the response action. So basically you can use two types of action for responding back to the parent flow from the child flow. Either it is respond to a power apps or flow action or you can use the response action, which is a premium uh, feature, a premium HTTP a request response connector, I will say. So that's all uh, to uh, in the theoretical part to sh uh, tell you and show you that how you can uh, call the child flows from the parent flow. Now, let me navigate quickly uh, to the Power Automate screen where I will be showcasing that how you can create the parent flow and child flow. flow. But before that, uh, let's talk about the official documentation. So this is the official documentation of Microsoft, which talks about how you can create the child flows. And on uh, its documentation, Microsoft has also clearly mentioned that you will definitely need a solution to create the parent child relationship or parent child flows. So this is very important to understand. If you are creating standalone flows outside the solution, you will not find the action which is run a child flow. All right. So let's go to the Power Automate screen now. I am in the solutions on the left hand side. You can see uh, I am in the solutions. I have already created a solution with the name Vipul Jain Education. So this is the solution uh, currently I am in and this is the solution explorer window which you can see on my screen. 
Here I am just going to the cloud flows which I have already created. One is the parent flow, another is the child flow. I have already created these flows, but what you can do is once you are inside a solution, you can click on new. All right, you can click on automation, you can click on cloud flow, and you can create different types of instant or automated flows. Okay, here I have created two instant flows. One is the parent flow, another is the child flow. And now I am going to showcase you how you can call a child flow from a parent flow by using standard connectors only. No need to uh, call or use any premium connection or connector. So first, let's navigate to this parent flow. This is the parent flow which I have uh, created. What I am doing in this flow is manually triggering a flow. This is just the trigger point, and I am using uh, the Office 365 connector or action, which is get my profile, which is give my uh, will give my profile details. Now, before coming to this run a child flow, what I have done, I have also created a child flow, which you can see child flow workflow one. Likewise, you can create multiple child flows as well. So let's navigate to the child flow first. In this child flow, what I'm doing, I'm using again a trigger, manually trigger a workflow. Here I'm using three properties, email to, email subject and email body, which we will be getting from the parent flow when this flow will be called. So that's fine. Then I'm using the action send email notification. Two is email to property, which I've used in the manual trigger flow action. Subject, email subject, body, just a body I'm creating, email body I'm taken, taken from the flow itself, from the trigger, uh, trigger of this flow. After that, this is the important thing which you have to understand, respond to a power apps or flow. This is a standard action. Now this will help you to respond back to the parent flow. Now in the parent flow, what I'm doing is I'm uh, using an action run a child flow. Now this run a child flow in this run a child flow since we have three properties which needs to be defined email to email subject and email body. So these three properties will be sent to the child flow whatever we have written in the child flow. So in the child flow I have written the functionality to send the email. Now in my parent flow you can see there is nowhere action to send the email only I am just calling a child flow and child flow is having an action send an email. So basically the child flow, you have to uh, choose the child flow with child flow you want to call through this action. Email to, I am using the uh, mail address of uh, myself. I will be triggering an email to myself, email subject. I have written some hard coded string, testing child workflows and email body. Hi, again, I have taken it from Office 365. This is a test email from Power Automate. So what will happen? Now we will test this flow. Definitely we have to test only the parent flow. I will be testing the parent flow and this parent flow will be calling the child flow. And in the child flow, we have the send email notification action. All right. So as an output, if we do the dry run, what will be the output? So hi, display name will be Vipul, Vipul Jain. This is a test email from Power Automate and email body. Now email body you see here, email body will have this as well. Test email, email body. This is the email body which will be added uh, from the parent flow. And after that, there will be some uh, random string. Hello, user. Regards, Vipul Jain. So that is how we are expecting the output of this particular flow or the parent flow. So parent flow, when I say it's the main flow, you can have n number of child workflows. You can keep on calling them child workflows as and when required. So before testing, the last part of this video, I want to show you the output before testing this flow. Why, why uh, I feel that child workflow uh, uh, will be a best fit in what kind of situations or in what kind of scenarios as per my personal experience of the live projects or client projects. Let's say uh, you have a condition of multi-level approval workflow. For example, I'm just giving you one of the scenario so that you can think of creating the child flows instead of uh, making your parent flow very long or very big and very complex. Uh, which will not make you that after two months you are not even able to understand that what you have written in your parent flow. That's why we create the child flows. So basically the scenario is let's say you have multi-level approval workflows. So department level, VP level and so on. Different levels of approval workflows are there. And those kind of workflows going to be reused in some other business scenario in the same project or in the same uh, uh, requirements, let's say. So in that in that case, you can create your child flows individual child flows and as and when required you can call them from the parent flow so that is one of the scenario which i can think of as of now and can tell you this will be beneficial 
and useful for you in this scenario to create the child flows. All right. So the last part of this video to test it, let's test the parent flow. I am just clicking on test, manually testing it, and then the flow will run. And the flow output we already know that uh, email should be triggered to the user, whatever is email address mentioned in the send email notification. So run flow. The flow has ran. Now let's see if the flow has ran successfully. It will take just few milliseconds to show. Yes, the flow has ran successfully. You can see the. And now in my Outlook, you can see a mail has already been triggered. So this is the email which is just now triggered. Uh, test email. Hi, Vipul Jain. This is a test email from Power Automate. So our uh, child flow has basically triggered this email from the parent flow. So that's all in this video. I hope this video will definitely help you and it will give you an idea that how you can create child flows and can call those child flows from the parent flows. Bye bye. Thank you.